last session, we focused on a push workout. In today's session, we're gonna focus on a pull workout. We're gonna work out our biceps, our back, and our hamstrings. We're gonna work for 40 seconds and have a 20 second break on eight brand new exercises and complete four rounds. For your reference today, guys, I'm gonna be using two sets of dumbbells. One's gonna be a six kg and the other one is a nine kg set. We're gonna warm up and cool down as usual. So when you're ready, let's warm up those muscles. Okay, we're gonna start off our warm up. We're going to tip from the hips and we're gonna ease off the back of the legs. So tip forward, feel the stretch at the back of the hamstrings and rise. Do this six times, breathe in. And then out. Breathe in. Good job. Just take your time on these ones. Keep moving dynamically. And we've got one more to go. And then back to center. Okay, open up the chest and then just rotate the wrists. You're gonna pull back on the biceps. So squeeze into the back as well, and then come forward slightly round your back. Open it up, and then round it forward. Do this six times as well. Open up, thumbs facing upwards. Good job. Let's do a couple more. And relax, good. Roll the shoulders back and down. Just nice big circles around to the back. And then come forward as well. Four rolls to the front and four to the back. And then back to centre. Let's widen the legs and get the opposite hand to the foot. So one and two. And we do four on each side, so eight in total. Let the legs come in, tip forward from the hips and open up, squeeze into the back and back to centre. Two more to go, so six here. Last one and then slowly, slowly, slowly rise. Well done, okay. Warm up done, let's get into the workout. So our first exercise today is an RDL. For this exercise, I'm gonna be using the nine kg weight. So if you can, go heavier on this one, guys. Picking up the weights, starting off in position where we hinge from the hips, so hip width apart. We're gonna hinge from the hips. And we're gonna keep the weights close to the body. And then we're gonna rise again. Feeling that pull at the back of the legs. Are you ready? Let's do it. Down. Sliding down, you don't have to go all the way down, just past the knees and then rise up. Squeeze your butt at the top. Feeling the pinch at the back of the legs, rising up. Nice flat back as you go down. And breathe out. Good work, take your time, there's no rush. Let's try and get a couple more in. Or one more. Nice and slow. And relax. Great work, that's one done already. The next exercise is a twisting hammer curl. So I'm gonna pick up my sixes. Get ready in position, keep the knees nice and soft. We're gonna do hammer style curl and twist at the top. Let's do this. So hold on nice and tight to your weights and get your pinky towards the shoulder. So as you twist, you're gonna keep the elbows locked in and get your pinky to turn towards the shoulder. 
nice and controlled and feeling that engagement in the biceps. So you're gonna put your mind and muscle connection into the biceps, pull and then release. Let's go for one more. And relax. Good, okay, next up we need one weight only. Okay, we're gonna do a staggered deadlift. So what you're gonna do guys is Right leg forward, left leg back. There's two ways you can do this. You can hold the weight in the opposite hand, but for today, we're gonna to hold it in the right side. We're gonna go down together towards the floor, rise up on that right side. Keep the back leg nice and soft. Breathe in, see if you can get to the floor. Out, if you can't, don't worry. Just go to the best range you can get to. Rise up, feel it at the back of your leg on the right side. And pull up with the hamstring and not the back, okay? If you can, fix your mind connection into your back of your leg. Let's get up and relax, good. So I'm gonna swap these back over with the six kg for our pullovers next. We're gonna go on the floor. And we're gonna reach up to the ceiling. Keep the weights apart, all right? Not stuck together. Keep them shoulder width apart. Pull over as far as you possibly can go. And then back to the center. Pull. And then back to center. Great work. Don't forget your breathing and control these weights. Good, let's go for one more. Back to centre. Relax. Great work guys. Come back up with me, grab your heavier weight, or the same if you don't have another set, that's okay. Um, left leg's forward, right left leg is staggered position. We're gonna go down on that left side. Towards the foot and then rise up. Now feel it at the back of your leg. to the back of the leg on the left side. Let's go for one more. And rise, well done, well done. Okay, actually I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> the next exercise is an underhand row. Single side only, so we're gonna go on the right hand side. Single side underhand row. I'm gonna place the left leg forward and the right back. So underhand grip. Now what you're gonna do is bring it up and then release it down. Right here, just on the right side. Well done, squeeze it up. And last one, good work. Ooh, that wasn't easy with nine kg, that's for sure. Okay, next up I'm gonna pick up the sixties again because we're gonna do an inward curl for our biceps. We're gonna lock the elbows in. And we're gonna hammer a style inward here and then release down. Squeeze, engage with the biceps, release it down. Now pull it up and release down, well done. So from the side, release down.
great work. We've got a couple more left to go. And relax, good. Okay, we are igniting our back biceps and our hamstrings today. So last one of round one, we've got four rounds to complete. So in the position of the renegade row, we're gonna pull alternating. Let's go. Left, then right. Now try to keep the hips nice and still. So minimal movement, engage your core, suck your core in tight like you're in a high plank position here. Row without, try without twisting. Well done. <laughs> that went quite quick actually. All right guys, 30 seconds of rest and then we're gonna go into round two. If you wanna change any weights, now is the time to do so. Otherwise stick with the weights you've got. Let's plug the mind connection into each and one, every one of those exercises that we're doing. We're starting back again with the RDL. Let's get ready in position. Hip width apart, knees are soft. Flat back, hinge from the hips. Just below the knees and rise. Feel the connection as you go down. Hamstring pull, up. Breathing in and out as you rise. Good work. Now remember we're trying to build strength, muscles, so we don't need to rush. Keep the muscle under contraction. Let's go for one more here. And relax, good. All right. The twisting hammer curls are next. Okay, so remember what I showed you. When you come up, you're gonna twist that pinky towards your shoulder. All right. So lengthen all the way down. Come up, twist that pinky. Keep the elbows nice and tight into the sides, so don't let them flare out. We don't wanna be doing these. We wanna keep them nice and tight. Isolate the biceps, pull and lengthen all the way down. Good work. Last one. Great, we're onto that stack of deadlift, so we only need one weight once again. The right leg is forward, I started with the right on the last round, and the left leg doesn't do anything at the back really, it's just nice and soft, knee slightly bent. Let's go down towards the right. Feel the back of the leg on the right. Now don't completely lock this leg out. Make sure it is still a little bit soft and rise. Or stay the same for your pullovers on the ground. Nice flat back into the ground. Weights the shoulder width apart. Pulling over to your best range control. And then back to center. Control, going back, back to center.
Great work. So make sure you're in control. Last one. And relax. Oh, that was great. Well done. Oh, trying to get up safely. Stagger deadlift on the left now. Left forward, right back, just a slight stagger. Knees soft. Let's go down to the left. Rising up. You've got this, guys. Doing so well so far. We've got three exercises before we are at the end of round two. We've got four rounds to complete, so stay with me if you want to build strength, muscle, and get that summer body. Burn fat, you know, all the things that keep us looking and feeling great daily. Good, last one. Ah, relax. Okay, so last time we did the underhand row on the right. This time we're going to do it on the left. We don't want to miss that one out. So position with the right forward, hands on the knee for support if you need it. Underhand grip and rowing on the left. Squeeze and release it down. Pull, release it down. Yes. Staying strong. Good work. Ten seconds to go. Pull and release. Shall we do one more? Ooh, balance. <laughs> yes. Good work. That's the thing, when you start talking and looking everywhere else, get distracted. You do lose your balance a little bit. So try to do the workout with no distractions, <laughs> if possible. Okay, our inward curls are coming up next. Squeezing in together, hammer style, and then releasing down. This time we're not coming all the way up, we're just going halfway, inward, and down. So our previous exercise was all the way up, but this one is just stopping here halfway. Pull it up and down. Now you can stick the weights together at the center if you wish, and then release them down. Good work. Let's go for one more. Release down slowly and relax. Nice, guys. Come back down to the ground, get ready for round two of Renegades. Now, did you, on the last round, twist your body at all? If you did, then just try and tweak it and fine tune it a little bit so you've got everything solid and engaged. And row. Left, right. Good work. This one is tough. It's meant to be not easy, especially if you're not moving. Woo. Last two. And one. Oh. Well done. Relax and have a little break for 30 seconds. And we're into round three. Hope you're feeling good so far. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so to my channel. You can follow me and do many more free workouts and they are all for free. So you can really support me if you, uh, if you did subscribe and did the video of course as well. That's the key thing. That's the best benefit for you. We're here because we want to have a healthy mind and body. The aesthetics is a bonus, isn't it? As long as we feel good mentally, 
set ourselves up right for each and every day. We are blessed. <laughs> totally. Good job, last one. And rise, nice. Okay, so let's go for the lighter weight for the twisting hammer curl. We're going all the way up with the pinky towards the shoulder. In these last two rounds, I just want you to really connect your mind to the muscles that we're working. So let's squeeze up, release down, and think about biceps only. Nothing else, just engage those biceps. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Yes. Beautiful work, 10 seconds to go. You're doing amazing so far. Pulling up, releasing down. Last one. Ooh, great job. So, we are now doing the stagger deadlift on the right, so one weight needed only. You know the drill now. Right forward, left back. Are you ready to do our stagger deadlift on the right? One more time. No, two more times. <laughs> Two rounds, isn't it? Left. Good work. Breathe in and then out. In and out. In. Reach up. Out. Great guys, hope you're feeling this in the back of the right side, last one. And release, good. Our pullovers are next. All right, <laughs> up we go. Slightly shoulder width apart. Pull it over with straight arms, control that weight. To center as you pull back, try not to over arch your back. So keep the back planted into the ground. In and out. Breathe in. Yes, I can really feel that. Last one. And back to center. Ooh, good work. Let's pick up that other weight, that heavy one. The staggered deadlifts on the left side. Are you ready? Hand behind the back. Let's go down to the left side. And rise. Ooh, I feel a bit hot now. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to keep this weight because we're going into that underhand row again. And I'm going to go on the right side with my 9 kg weight. Why not? It is sustainable for me. Do what's sustainable for you too. Job. Last one. And relax. Thumbs up, you're doing really well so far. Underhand row. I'm not, why am I putting it down? Okay, underhand row. Coming up next on the right side. So nice wide distance apart. Firm grounding. Squeeze up. Release down. Job. We're going to get a chance to do the left in the last round, guys, as you've probably already figured out. Good work, 
15 seconds are remaining. And relax after that one. Ooh. Inward curls are next. Let's grab those other set. So inward curls and renegade. Then one more round. And then we've completed our pool session for today. Okay, ready? Curl it in, halfway here. Release it down. Whilst I'm doing this exercise, I like to squeeze my bum because it helps me from rocking forward and backwards. So my body stays nice and firm and upright. And I don't move, I just isolate the biceps. So down, in, but it's squeezed really tight as well, so glute gains. <laughs> Pull up, release down. Pull up, release down. Well done. Last time on the floor. No, not last time. <laughs> I'm wishing it away today. I'm, don't, I'm not really. I'm glad we've got one more round, aren't you? <laughs> of course you are. That's what you came here for. Okay, let's pull left and right. Minimal movement in the body. Let's go. Ah, oh, yes, work really, really hard. Work hard, play hard mentality. Keep that discipline going. That's what gets you places in life. Discipline. Discipline yourself. Condition yourself to be the best version of you. Good, last two. One, oh, great. Last round's coming up and I'm sweating, even though it's not leg day. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a little drink of water. Just relax for a little bit longer and we do our last rounds really, really strong, yeah? As I always say, finish strong. And why not? Eight exercises, eight minutes more of work. What is that percentage out of your day? Not a lot. Let's go round four. sweating a little bit, even if you're glistening, you're working the muscles really, really well. Breathing. Even if you're not, I'm sure you still are, because some people don't sweat as much as others. I know that I'm a super sweater. <laughs> not that attractive, I've got to say. <laughs> Ooh. Last one, relaxed, beautiful. <laughs> Just thought I'd give you that information. All right, guys, twisting hammer curls for the last time. Take a nice deep breath in. Make sure that this is your best form, all right? So twist that pinky up and around. Work the biceps and then lengthen all the way down. Knees are soft. Squeeze your core in nice and tight as well. Breathe in. Release it down, in, and out. Good work, 15 seconds left. Nice. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. That was a great one, wasn't it? Okay, staggered deadlift for the last time. Right side, right forward, left nice and relaxed. Put the left behind your back to keep the chest open. Hinge forward from the hips to keep your back nice and flat. Tap and rise. If you're getting fatigued now, that's normal, but just say to yourself, it's the last round, I can do it. I can push through. 
stay with Hannah for the rest of the session. <laughs> Don't leave me now. I'll be sad if you do. I want you to stay right to the end. <laughs> because then we do a little cool down, then we feel so good. And if you write in the comments down below, if you stayed with me, I will personally reply to you. Promise. I'll give you a high five as well. Oh. Last one. And release. Pull overs next. Last time for pull overs, guys. Oh, I do like to have a lay down on the floor, don't you? Especially when you get your back into a nice cold floor, which this one is. Pull over. Yes, this feels so good. I actually love this exercise. Really lengthening out the arms, working the lats at the back, pull back to center. Let's go for one more nice and slow, all the way up to the top. Ooh. Really good, let's get up guys. Safely, of course. If you um, get up like me, I don't think that's the best demonstration. <laughs> but put your weights to the side, safely get up, you know? Should be demonstrating a nice safe way. I'm being honest, yeah, I just swung up. <laughs> don't do that. Follow me for the rest of everything else, but not that bit. <laughs> Last time on that staggered left deadlift. I will in the other videos teach you how to get up safely from the floor if you want. Okay, come on. <laughs> Down, rise up. Let's go for a couple more. And one more. Good. High five, high five. Underhand row. Left. Let's get my little friend back again. Underhand row left. So you put the right forward. I like to just sort of rest my right hand on my right leg. You don't have to, you can put it behind or you can rest it on the leg. You decide. <sighs> Squeeze and release. Pull. That's the aim of the game in this session. All pulling movements. Going to the end. Ten seconds left. Squeeze. Release. One more time. Woo. Oh wow. That was really tough for me. Because my weights have got a really fat grip as well. So because my hands are they're not small but they don't quite fit snug around the, the handle. So I find that when I'm tired, I start to lose a little bit of that flat grip. Oh, no, that's not the one. Inward curls. And I lose my marbles as well. <laughs> Inward curls, halfway here and down. <sighs> Breathing. Biceps. I'm sweating as well, so that was my distraction. <laughs> Fat grip and distraction doesn't go well at the end. Good, last one. Release down. Beautiful work. Okay, it's our last exercise, everyone. Our last exercise. I'll try not to talk too much in this one because I'm gonna focus in on not moving that body. Um, yeah, that's the difficult bit, isn't it? Staying in that nice tight plank position and row.
Well done. Keep rowing to the end. Stay strong with me. We're nearly there. Good. Three, two, one. And beneath. Good work. Just um, roll the weights to the side. Whew. Give yourselves a little clap. We're going to do a short cool down and then I'll see you in the next one. So, cover forward, guys. Place your hands on the mat. Sit back onto the heels. Stretch out your back and your shoulders. Sit down nice and low, as low as you can get, and push your chest towards the ground here. Aim to get the chest down nice and low and keep your fingertips out as far as you possibly can here. Breathe in. And out. Good work. Come back to centre. Let's thread the right arm underneath and through. Look up to the ceiling, stretching your lower back and also your shoulder, because when we did the deadlift, sometimes people get a little niggle. Shouldn't be, but you know, just stretch out the lower back anyway. Hold it here. If you can't place your shoulder on the ground, don't worry, just work towards it. Put the other side through. Just mobility, more mobility needed. I do have some mobility um, videos, so uh, if you go to my channel, you can have a look. And if you can squeeze one in, great, because it really does help your range of motion in each of the exercises, guys. Really important to also do mobility as well. Tuck your toes under. Push your head through your hands. Stretch out your back. You'll feel a stretch into your legs as well. You're going to walk them down. Stretch in the back of the legs. Walk them down. Great work. And then bring the hands towards the toes. See if you can keep your fingertips on the ground. If not, don't worry, just work towards it. If you're really advanced, you can put your palms down on the floor, or if you've got short legs, <laughs> like me, you can put your palms on the floor because it's a little less of a distance to go. If you've got really long legs, it is quite far. It's advantage, isn't it? <laughs> Slowly rise up, well done, come back to the centre. A really great session, I love that one today. Whole day done. Don't forget to comment down below if you did finish this session with me. Or even if you didn't, it's okay. Still comment. Give me a like, a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.